Gaffer, how's this week been for you? It's been great, Jim, to be honest. Um, you know, obviously, it's good to be back at our own training ground. We had a great week in Spain, but uh, there's no place like home, I suppose. And, you know, the boys are comfortable in this environment, and we've had some really, really good training sessions in the build up to Sunday. How much are you looking forward to getting that first competitive game underway? I think we all are, you know, obviously, um, you know, everybody needs the break at the end of the season, but after a couple of weeks, I'm kind of getting itchy feet anyway and desperate just to get back out there. So, as are, as are the players, you know, we all um, enjoy the summer holidays, but, you know, we always look forward to that first competitive game and, you know, the fact that it's such a big one against Dunfermline, who will no doubt bring a decent crowd through as well on Sunday. Game live on the telly, um, and obviously my first game back in Paisley uh, as a you know City Mirror manager. It's just going to be incredible. It's going to be a great day for for everyone, and hopefully uh, myself and the players can um, you know go and put on a good performance. What would that mean to you to actually lead out? The You've led out the team at that stadium as a captain, as a player, to now lead out the team as manager for the first time. It's quite surreal, Jim, to be honest. And um, you know, even just being out here on on a Wednesday with the lads training, you know, and kind of just had a little walk around the training pitch and just, you know, to try and take it all in. I suppose again, you know, the fact that I've been away for for three years and you know doing the part time thing and wondering will you ever get the opportunity to get back into full time football again, and you know, for that opportunity to come here is is quite incredible. So. Um, no, we're you know we're really looking forward to it, and I say we, I mean my family as well. You know, my wife and my kids are just uh, really, really excited about the whole thing. Um, my two girls remember the club well. My wee boy was uh, a little bit too young at the time, but um, they're all desperate. I'm actually heading down to the club shop this afternoon to get the jerseys, and I've been under orders to get all them in. So, you know, it'll be a great day, and uh, I just hope that we can go and put on a performance now to match it. We know what this cup means to you as well as a as a men and captain. Um, how much would you like to really get a good cup run under their belt this season? I think it's important for um, for any team to be honest with you, and uh, the fact that the Betfred Cup comes around so soon in the pre season, uh, it's a great place to to build some momentum and and get that positive feeling around the club, um, you know, and and to give the support or something to cheer about early on. So, you know, we're favourites in the group and, and rightly so, we're, we're the Premier League club uh, at the end of the day, but, you know, we have to be wary and give the opposition all the respect that they deserve. Um, Stevie Crawford has recruited really well for Dunfermline. He's got a number of players there who I know from last year playing against him with Alloa. So, uh, if we underestimate any of the teams in the group, then, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make life difficult for ourselves. But, you know, it's up to me to ensure that the boys don't do that and you know knowing the lads that I do in the last kind of couple of weeks I can see there's some good characters in there and uh, the standards you know will be uh, maintained and they'll give the opposition all the respect that they deserve but um, if we play to the levels that we're capable of then you know we should win the game. What do you make of the, the group stage format this early in the season? Uh, I enjoy the you know I like the way they've shaken up the League Cup I do I think it's a, it's a decent model um, and yeah I mean look at the games do come thick and fast. I think at times, um, you know, you're not prepared in terms of squad numbers, and I think we're one of those clubs at this moment in time that we are light of numbers. There's no getting away from that. We're trying to um, get people in uh, as quick as we can, but at the same time, these things sometimes do take time. So we'd love to have another three or four people in the squad for Sunday, but that's not the case. We don't. We just have to get on with what we've got, and um, you know, hope that everybody comes through all these games unscathed and. Uh, because the four games in two weeks can be quite demanding. How is the squad looking? Have you got a full squad to pick from? Yeah, we, we're going to have to draft in a few of the kids, and um, you know we've got three of the academy boys in with us this week, and they've actually done really, really well. You know, and um, you know that's a big part of me here as manager as well. When I spoke to the board and I spoke to Alan McManus as well, it's something that I'm really keen on, and you know it's something that the club has been built on for a number of years. You know, you look at all those. Good players that have came through the academy into the first team, and, and then they become vital assets to the club. So, you know, we have to utilise the the best players that are over there in the next couple of weeks. Um, if they do well enough, then they stay with the first team. If if they don't, then the nature of the beast is that they go back down to to that level and, and work hard to get the opportunity again.